Hey, Natural Lady with YouTube, Trust Your Creations here. I want to go ahead and stop the presses because this is not a natural hair video. Even though I tried something a little different with my hair today, trying to channel, I guess, an Afrocentric Grecian goddess or something of that nature. Uh, just to, like I said, just playing around. Um, this is Saturday evening, so it's not like I have anything better to do since I decided not to go out. Anyway, and got my little lovely shades on, and that's the uh, actual introduction to what the video is about. And it is about summer finds. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can find some great deals for, I don't know if you can see that, 50% off. Yeah, it may not exactly be what you're looking for for 50% off, but found some cool items, and I want to share those with you. It basically is about uh, makeup or fun makeup for less. Take off the shades. All right. At my local CVS, I was actually wasn't wasn't actually looking for any makeup items, but of course, uh, you know, I just ran across a couple of nail polishes and some lip glosses, and I was just you know randomly picking up a few items when I noticed that they were 50% off. And I found a few things like uh, the first buy that I had actually has a couple of the store labels on it was um, a Wet n Wild Royal Rouge nail polish and I actually polished one of my fingers with the Royal Rouge which probably to get the true color you would need at least two coats and like I said I was just experimenting so I just put that on and then to go with it I found the Wet n Wild Diamond Brilliance uh, which is actually supposed to be a shade of uh, lip Shine lip gloss. Try and think of it real way. But I think it depends on the color as to if it looks more like a lip gloss or a lipstick. But this shade pretty well matches the nail polish. And I'm not actually going to put any on uh, because it's a little bit heavier than I normally wear. And when I did actually try it on, I tried it on with a lip gloss too, just to kind of um, dull down the look. But uh, yeah. A Diamond Brilliance lip gloss, and some of these items were also, ta-da, 50% off. And, let's see, something fun, because I do not always wear nail polish, because, uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I am a graphic designer, and uh, in some of my roles, when you're doing a lot of printing of the materials that you're presenting uh, in your company setting, you know, whatever nail polish you wear, typically can rub off onto, you know, your copies, and sometimes they're, they might be your final design, so, I, so just kind of it's been ingrained in me that I normally do not wear nail polish, though on my last couple of videos I did have on, um, bam, <laughs> another color I purchased uh, a couple of weeks ago by uh, Sinful Colors, and it's more of a, a black tone. I know it's called something else, but, but yeah, and that's what I had sported uh, probably a week or so, it's still on my toes. But uh, when I, getting back on my subject with the Wet n' Wild that I purchased is Caribbean Frost. And I think, like I said, I have a little Caribbean flare going on in my Caribbean earrings. But uh, this is actually the color, and it's like a green. And it's kind of neat. You know, it's kind of like that pop of, of fun color, you know. Um, it's not your standard, you know, plain red or burgundy. Or uh, a lot of people wear neutral colors, if not clear. Um, Again, a very, very playful tone. I do like it. Probably something I will wear on my toes, uh, even if I don't wear it on my fingernails. But I don't know. I'm kind of feeling it. So I may actually polish my fingernails with it, um, possibly by next weekend. And not last, but my last lip gloss that I found um, is another Wet n Wild uh, Diamond Brilliant shade. And this one I actually did save the wrapper for, and it's called Princess Cut. And I do actually have a little bit on and just apply a little bit more. It is a pretty neutral um, pink tone. And it more or less looks like lip gloss. This probably would be something that I would use with the other color just to kind of tone the red down a little bit because that's a little bit much for me since I normally don't wear um, a heavy lipstick, just a rare occasion that I will. And another find for Wet n Wild, which is actually on sale for $1.99, most of the other items were between uh, sale price and the 50% off price. 
uh, anywhere from a dollar to like a dollar fifty, so inexpensive. Um, anyhow, uh, let's see, it's Mega Protein Mascara by Wet n Wild, and I believe this is a new item, and it was a dollar ninety nine, and I do not have it on currently. Um, I actually have on. I think this is Lash Blast by Maybelline. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I believe that's what I have on because, as you see, the information is is rubbed off the tube. Excuse me, L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion is what I have on. I'm sorry, but I I have worn Maybelline before, so. But anyway, uh, this is L'Oreal. And I also purchased a pack of goodies uh, bobby pins. This is, I guess, the new trend. Um, with having their beaded bobby pins. I liked them when I saw them. They were $3.99, I believe. I do not know um, if I'll wear them anytime soon, but I thought it was a cute buy. I said, you know, once I have more hair and I'm wearing, you know, ponytails or, you know, other than my puff, then I would probably use, you know, to pin them back or something like that. Or when I'm wearing it twisted, maybe I would pin them back with, with these bobby pins. It would be something cute. But... Other than that, I believe that's it, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed my wet and wild uh, miscellaneous haul. Um, also, wearing my earrings from the Palmas once again. And the makeup look that I'm wearing is from one of my e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, hauls that I did uh, about a week ago. And uh, getting a little bit better at applying the makeup. Again, uh, wearing makeup is not a look that I do every day, but uh, probably my last couple videos I've had makeup on uh, for YouTube purposes, just because, you know, now that I'm buying more makeup, it's, it's kind of fun to play in. I mean, I must admit that. But anyway, guys, I hope you're having a blessed and safe holiday, well, it's not the holiday weekend yet, but, you know, a lot of people I know are probably preparing for their 4th of July holiday breaks. And I know some companies are probably closed for the week. I know in the South, uh, and I am in the South, a lot of the companies around here are closing for the week of the 4th. Anyway, blessings always. Patience is progress.